so before talking about yolk, I would like to talk about this, these patterns. Eight rounds repeating. Elder. This is the pattern with increasing. But before that, I would like to explain how to make these patterns with back and forth without increasing so that I think you can catch up easily why we how to increase like blah 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 like that okay so anyway let's start so the first of all um this is multiples of 12 stitches so chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is multiples of 12 stitches and for more understanding i'm going to make 24 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so now 24 stitches okay so uh the first of all i made after making the neck clip i need single crochet to make the stitch clear so do the same okay chain one this chain one is turning chain so we don't count as a stitch skip the first stitch into the second back bump i'm going to make single crochet like a neck leaving so into every stitch i made single crochet Uh, but you can start with the double crochet as the uh, low one. It's up to you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and one, two, three, four, twenty four stitches. Okay, so let's start round one. And round one is a double crochet. So uh, usually uh, the textbook says chain three count as a double, but I prefer this way. Chain one and turning work. Into the first stitch, make a single crochet. Then chain one again, insert into the first uh, single crochet here. So you can see the stitch here and please make another single crochet vertically. So I prefer this is this uh, is the first double crochet so you can use the V chain as a stitch as the first stitch and also you can use as a turning stitch. Okay then into the second stitch please make double crochet so and then after that please make double crochet into every stitch so this is the last double crochet and we did 24 stitches here and then move to the next row, row 2 row 2 is the puff stitches okay so the row 2 start with chain 3 this chain 3 doesn't count as a stitch just the start to adjust the post okay first Please skip first two stitches, skip one and two, and into the third one, please make a double crochet. And into the next stitch, please make a double crochet again. 
Then please make chain one. Now we made one, two, three stitches, and we used one, two, three, four stitches. So we need one stitches more. So we are going to make the puff stitch into the first stitch. The second one is actually maybe you can think as a chain one here so we need the first one to make a that puff stitch so this is the first stitch and this chain three doesn't count as a stitch just the post okay so yarn over into the first stitch insert yarn over pull up a loop to the position that we did here yarn over again back to the same first stitch insert and yarn over pull up a loop two times please repeat four times yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop three yarn over insert into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop okay lead four times into the first stitch like this there are so many yarns how many loops one two three four five six seven eight nine nine loops yarn over pull through these all nine loops at a time this is the puff stitch. Okay, repeat one more time. Yarn over. And this is the fourth. So one, two, three, fourth stitch. Skip two. One, two. Into the third one, make a double crochet. and make another double crochet so totally we need two double crochet then don't forget make chain one so back to the first stitch it is the next of the last double crochet here and there are two stitches unused and please use the light one leave the left stitch okay then let's make a four times puff stitch yarn over insert into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop two times yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop three yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop four okay after making four so let's make sure there are nine loops or not one two three four five six seven eight nine nine loops and yarn over pull through all at a time so this is the second puff stitch the shape is like this and just pull it up so this is the first double crochet and this is a chance to lead. okay and the most important thing we have to use this double crochet as the first stitch so mark the first stitch not to forget this chain three doesn't count as a stitch okay all right so repeat it yarn over and this is the last stitch so skip two one two into the third stitch make a double crochet two times with following two stitches and make chain one And find the light stitch unused so this one and this is next of the puff stitch that used as a double crochet here 
and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two. Insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three. Yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yarn over, pull through all. Skip two into the third stitch, make a double crochet. And yarn over into the next stitch, make a double crochet. And chain one. And yarn over into the first stitch. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, two, three, four, pull through all, skip two. So how to skip? Please find the last stitch which used this one and skip two one two and the third one make a double crochet one two and one yarn over into the first stitch one two three four yarn over pull through all so please repeat like this to the end and this is the last one so let's do it together this is the last stitch and chain one into the first stitch so it's easy to find it out here one two three four okay finished but if we finish here it there is no you know no pose to finish so when we crocheting back and forth please make a double crochet into the last stitch but this doesn't count as a stitch just the additional it kind of a post but if you crocheting in the round in the rounds please join into the first double crochet So that stitch number is the same, right? And this chain three will disappear. Okay. So anyway, please make a double crochet for the back and forth. Okay. This is the puff stitch, and we are going to repeat one more time. Chain three. Turn your work. And skip two. And use two stitches before puff stitch so here and here so skip one two and this is the third one so let's make double crochet and next stitch so the next stitch it is uh, here okay Then don't forget chain one and the next please use these large holes to make a puff stitch so yarn over it's very easy now here it's very clear to find this one the same stitch with the last row puff stitch and one two 
Sli and full. Okay. So now like a V here. And yarn over, skip two. One, two. Into the third stitch. Make a double crochet. Into the next stitch. Make a double crochet. And chain one. And into the same stitch with the puff stitch here. So this is yarn end. Okay. This one. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay. Leave it like this. Okay, do it once again, one more time together. Skip one, two. Skip one, two, and next one. One, two, chain one, into the this puff stitch. One, two, three, four, and pull through all. Okay, so repeat like this. Okay, did the same thing and um, actually we finished the first chain and it is already used but there is no post to land so we are going to make another double crochet to join but when as I mentioned when we crocheting in the, in the round it's going to be it should be the here this one okay so this is the back and forth and this is one, two, three. So finish three long, three rows, and move to the fourth stitch. Okay, chain one. All right, this is the puff stitch. So in the puff stitch, make single crochet and chain one, and make another single crochet to make a double crochet, and into the second chain make a double crochet and a start and false and this is the first one actually this is the first or uh, this is a uh, belong to the double crochet here But it's better to use it and this is the actually the chain one space so sometimes it is hard to make a double crochet in that case please make the space and then double crochet it is still fine and this is the actually the puff stitch Uh, no, no, double crochet, and this is the second double crochet. It should be the puff stitch, but it's okay. So here is a little bit tricky to make double crochet because there is no <coughs> just a, it's a very tiny, tiny space. So it's better to make a double crochet in the space and make a double crochet and double crochet double 
double crochet get to the end okay this is the first one but one two three four there are four stitches left so we are going to make second stitch and skip this chain one space and into the next stitch i don't know this is a chain one actually let me check and this is the last stitch so let me check it yeah i think this is the first double crochet and second double crochet and this is a chain one yes and this is a puff stitch and this is the first double crochet second double crochet and chain one and puff stitch yes that's right here this is a chain one space and this is a puff stitch a double crochet and this is the puff stitch actually here is a puff stitch and double double chain one puff double double chain one puff like that okay all right so this is a low, round four or low four low four is the multiples of four all right and then low five and low five is double crochet so that is very simple please make double crochet into every stitch that's it so it is very easy into every stitch make a double crochet to the end and this is the last stitch so you can see the v chain here so that you won't miss it and make a double crochet okay the next round next row is row six and row seven row six and row seven is multiples of three stitches, three stitches and make a granny shape line so turning work please slip stitch it to the second double crochet and chain one and into the second chain make the first double crochet like this and then into the second chain please make two more double crochet Or so this is my way to do it in the in the round and if you crochet back and forth please make chain two it doesn't count as a stitch and skip the first stitch and into the second stitch please make a double crochet so it is two double crochet together this is the post it doesn't not count as a stitch and please make three double crochet in the same stitch and skip two one two into the third one please make three double crochet the same stitch skip two the third one make double crochet three times this is a granny style and 
please repeat to the end. Skip to into the third one. like this and it is nearly finished and so please skip first two stitches and into the next stitch please make two double crochet and please make the other the third double crochet but finish and complete it two loops on the hook and yarn over and into the next stitch, the last stitch. So there is a boot chain here and make two double crochet together. So the stitch is 24 stitches. Okay, this is the low six and low seven, chain one, chain two and turn your work. Skip first stitch into the second stitch. So this is the middle of the double crochet, uh, the granny, so the middle one. So please make three double crochet. Like this. I skip two, it means in the center one, this one. So please make three doubles in the center double crochet. In the same stitch. And in the center one. So skip two stitches. Please repeat to the end. And this is the last one. So please make two double crochet first. And the third one is two double crochet together. And yarn over. And we want to slit the third chain, the turning chain. Okay, so this is row 6 and 7, and row 8 is very simple again, chain 1, and please make a double crochet first, beginning of the double crochet, and then please make a double crochet into the every stitch. I finished these eight rows. So this is the pattern that we got, we I repeated according to the pattern. So if uh, you understand what we are repeating, it is much easier to catch up the pattern. All right. So this is the basic pattern. There is no increase and decrease. Once again, 
If you understand how to repeat these patterns, you can understand easily where you increased and where、uh, you have to think about the stitches to adjust the number. So that this、uh, sample is very helpful to understand this pattern.